All right, here's the connector to the light in my bedroom, and this is how I'm hooking up my lamps to solar power. And I'm slowly going through and converting my house to solar power. And as you can tell from this lamp, it's actually quite bright. Uh, let's go ahead and go outside to the solar panel, and I'll show you the rest of the system. I'm wiping off my solar panel. This is a 35-watt solar panel, and I mounted it into this bike house that I built for our bikes. And so this panel, um, it's mounted in so it doesn't walk away on its own. And uh, this is 35 watts. You don't want to have your solar panel out in the sun if it's not hooked up to anything. And if you see how much it's putting out, it uh, will appear to put out more than if it was actually hooked up to something. So um, here's my solar panel, and I'm going to add some more all along this this structure as I go, but uh, I keep all my batteries inside this tool shed here because when they're charging and discharging, they'll be off-gassing some noxious gases. So you want to have them away from where you're living, but uh, then the, w the wire going out of the top of the tool shed there, that's what's heading into the house, and um, you know, if I was to add a lot more lights, I'd probably use heavier gauge wire but let's go into the tool shed. This is a light bulb I installed. If it was pitch black and we didn't have uh, had a power outage, I wouldn't have my motion sensor light out here. So I flick this on. It's actually got two filaments. So um, I only have one hooked up. If I needed to change my light bulb, I could just switch wires to the other filament. But uh, that's to light this up so I can uh, see what I'm doing. Unlocking the lock. And then... This is the solar setup. Here's where it comes in from the solar panel, the electricity. And it goes to this controller here, charge controller. So it comes in from the solar panel, it goes down to the battery. And down here I have two batteries hooked up in, in a series here. And um, here's my meter that, that's... Uh, hooked up with these two clamps, and these two clamps are for a charger if uh, things drop down too low, but um, everything looks good, and I have the light from the front of the tool shed, this is the light going to the house, this is the light that I'm going to show you in a second, and then we have the power coming in over here, and this is the power, a uh, thicker gauge, a uh, thicker gauge wire as I go from one battery to the next battery. And um, then we have this is a 12 volt light running off of this solar system. And it's pretty much a normal light bulb, just a 12 volt, 50 watt light bulb. And it screws in like a regular light bulb into this lamp that I got at Walmart for $5. So um, some $2 bulbs, a $5 lamp, a $10 solar controller, a couple marine batteries. You can do a solar setup for less than $100. I'm still learning about this, uh, about solar in general, but um, that's my solar setup.